at note uh, document one, the letter to the President of the Senate from the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly of Western Australia. Uh, acting, uh, Madam Acting Deputy President, um, I refer to the letter uh, received by the President on the 17th of November, um, advising of the motion passed by the Legislative Assembly of Western Australia that this Western Australian Legislative Assembly calls on the federal government to abandon the proposed plebiscite on marriage equality and urgently calls on all members of the federal parliament to have a free vote on a bill to amend the Marriage Act 1961 regarding marriage equality. And of course, this uh, has been supported recently by this Senate during the last sitting period. Members would recall that the Senate passed a Green motion noting that a plebiscite is divisive, noting that a plebiscite is costly, it's not necessary, and calling on Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull to uh, provide a free vote on the issue of marriage equality by Christmas. Well, the clock is ticking. There is still an opportunity for Mr Turnbull to break with the Abbott Prime Ministership and show some leadership on this issue. At the moment, Mr Turnbull is uh, in the lodge, but Tony Abbott is his ghostwriter. He is still drafting these policies, still setting the policy agenda of this government from his political grave. And of course, we've seen that on a range of issues from climate change to marriage equality. And Mr Turnbull needs to break with the Abbott era and provide a free vote. And you know, we've talked about this plebiscite before here in, in this place, but let's make no mistake here. It's often presented as some kind of way of uh, providing progress on this reform. What a nonsense that is. What a complete sham that is to spend $160 million of taxpayer funds to ask a question we already know the answer to. The people who are putting this idea on the table aren't doing it because they think that it's going to bolster the prospects of success or because they're wanting to deliver this reform. They're doing it because they're trying to find another roadblock. They're trying to concoct some other elaborate excuse, some other way of shutting the door on marriage equality for same-sex couples in this country, some other way of furthering Tony Abbott's ridiculous ideological opposition to marriage equality in this country. Well, we have a new Prime Minister and he needs to put his money where his mouth is. He needs to break with the Abbott era and offer a different style of leadership. And we're not seeing that at the moment. We've got, as I say, Mr Turnbull in the lodge, but Tony Abbott being his ghostwriter, still pushing this agenda. It's clear, however, that momentum for marriage equality is building in this country. A mounting list of parliaments rejecting a plebiscite and calling on the parliament to act. And I do congratulate uh, the Parliament of Western Australia for taking that step. It's great to see the Senate here doing the same thing. We do need to collectively keep the pressure on Mr Turnbull um, so that he acts on this important issue. Let's have a free vote on marriage equality before Christmas.